Hi, I'm Judy from Austin, Texas. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make my wonderful recipe for strawberry cream cheese filled crepes. They're delicious, they're easy, and your whole family will love them. So let's get started with the crepe batter. You're going to need one and a half cups of milk, and you'll just put all of this into your blender. Two whole eggs and two egg yolks. One fourth cup of melted butter. You want to cool it, you don't want it hot. One cup of flour. And one tablespoon of sugar. And that's your crepe batter. You'll just put it all in your blender. and blend it up so it's nice and smooth. Okay, so it's nice and blended. So easy to make crepes. And I'm going to just pour it back into my measuring cup just for making it easy to pour into my crepe pan later on. Okay, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to go ahead and start on the delicious cream cheese filling. Okay, so I'm starting on the filling for the crepes. I'm using two packages, two eight ounce packages of Kraft Philadelphia brand cream cheese that I've left out. They're at room temperature, so they're nice and soft, easy to work with. Half a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of milk, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm just gonna beat those up until it's nice and creamy. So it's nice and creamy, mmm, delicious. That little hint of vanilla, it's delicious. Okay, so that's the filling. This technically isn't a crepe pan. I don't have my crepe pan out here with me. I'm just using a, a shallow nonstick pan. Don't let the fact that you don't have a crepe pan tell you you can't do this. Pour it in the pan, tilt your pan, to coat the bottom evenly. And then just let it set. You'll start to see the edges giving a little bit. Just let it do its thing. Toss it, a little shake, looks good. You might need to add a little butter periodically, as we did to start with, just a, a, a little pinch of butter. We'll do this on the next one. See how it's giving, it's cooked, it's ready. Slide it out of the pan onto your plate. And I'm just So I'm done cooking my crates. I've just stacked them up and they're at room temperature right now and I'm ready to fill them with my Philadelphia cream cheese filling that I made earlier. So let's assemble them. To make the filling a little bit easier and just go a little faster, I'm going to just make a makeshift pastry bag. I'm going to put my filling in a Ziploc bag. Just kind of squeeze out the air. And I'm just going to cut the corner off of this bag. So it's going to be really easy. And what you're going to do is just put some filling in there and roll them up like long cigars. Aren't they pretty? And I'm just going to put it in my dish here. But you can see how fast it goes. Instead of having to deal with a spoon, boom, you're done. And roll. These are really easy to really easy to make. And you can see I didn't have a crepe pan. I just did a makeshift crepe pan with my 
nonstick pan and it was fine. It worked just fine. Okay, so we've got our crepes made. They're assembled. It doesn't take any time at all. You're ready to go. So we're gonna make our strawberry sauce to cook our crepes in, the final step. In my saute pan, I've got uh, four tablespoons of butter and I've got it over medium heat. I'm melting that and I'm gonna add three cups of sliced strawberries. I'm going to actually leave about a fourth cut behind for garnish. And I'm going to cook those down. Okay, so I've got my, my butter and my strawberries simmering in here. You can see they're all bubbly. I'm going to sprinkle in my uh, fourth cup of sugar and my one tablespoon of cornstarch into the mixture. I'm going to lower the heat a little bit and I'm going to stir that up. It's going to help thicken it, pull all the juices together. It smells delicious. And let that cook. And then, at the very end, you want to add a fourth cup of orange liqueur. If you do not want to have alcohol in it, this can be omitted. You could probably just get a I would suggest getting uh, half of a fresh squeezed orange and throwing it in here, but the orange liqueur is fantastic. So let's go ahead and pour that in. If you wanted to, you could ignite this at this time and let it burn out. We're going to cook out the alcohol, most of it anyway. It smells wonderful. So easy. smells delicious. So that's going to cook just for a couple of minutes. Let that alcohol burn out. So I'm going to lay my crepes in there. And just let them heat through. I'm going to just cover them up and let them get warm. with the strawberry sauce. I think I can squeeze one more in there. And you can do it in a couple of batches. Just heat them through and then just put them on your plate. Again, this recipe is going to make 10 large crepes, 20 maybe six inch crepes. These are pretty big and one per person is plenty. Just let those heat through over your medium heat. I'm going to go ahead and serve one up. To get some of the sauce. Put some of that delicious sauce on here. These can continue to heat. Mmm, that sauce is decadent. All right, we need one final topping, a little fresh whipped cream, and we're ready to go. I've topped off my, my crepe with a little fresh whipped cream. Let's take a taste. 